welcome back to the channel. So today I am making the video that I have wanted to make for, I don't know, when did I start doing my driving tests? Like February maybe? <laughs> Good few months now but I'm finally getting down to sit and film this video because I passed my driving test. Yeah! I'm buzzing now and it was ages, it was like three weeks ago that I passed. Um, I didn't get to film the video straight away which was a shame because I went on holiday uh, but now I'm back. I, I'm, you know, I'm still so excited about the prospect of just being able to go and sit in my car and drive on my own. It's just the best feeling ever. So I've kind of kept this channel updated with my driving tests, uh, the fact that I failed twice before I eventually passed. If you've been enjoying my driving videos, by the way, there's plenty more to come. I can't wait to do drive with me's and all different experiences about driving. Give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subs subs whoa. subscribe if you are new so you can catch up with my driving stuff, but also all my other videos that I make that I make. That was weird. I think a huge thing that helped me pass this time was um, controlling my nerves a lot more. So this time I decided to take the morning of the test like it was just another day and I definitely think that helped. So things like telling my mum not to make a fuss, just having a normal breakfast. So I just did my normal routine as if I was leaving the house to go and have a driving lesson. In the past times, um, my mum would like, oh, good luck for like in the morning, you know, giving me hugs and stuff. I just wanted her to like say, bye, have a good day. Like, <laughs> I think it was all in the mind, but it just calmed me down because it made me feel like it was just another day and that I was just, you know, going out for a drive. Like that was it. So I had a normal breakfast, normal routine and all that kind of thing. And I definitely felt a lot less nervous, like arriving, to the test center you've just got to think at the end of the day you're gonna have passed or failed and it, it doesn't matter which one at the end of the day like it doesn't matter you are gonna pass one day whether that's today or not it doesn't matter you just got to do your best and just like calm down because I think nerves can really affect how you drive. It definitely did for me on my first test. If you haven't already seen that video, go check it out. I actually got the same examiner that I had on the first test that I took and I found comfort in that. Like I was happy because I knew this guy and I knew he was nice, but I really don't think it matters about examiners. Like you do get told stories like, oh, don't get this examiner because she passes nobody. <laughs> but you should just ignore all that because at the end of the day, they only pass you if you can drive. So like if they fail you, it's because they don't think you're good enough. Whoa. I felt quite confident like driving around with my examiner because I don't know I had it in my head that that I could drive like you've just got to be confident because you wouldn't have booked the test if you didn't think you could pass. I was expecting a certain manoeuvre the reverse on the other side of the road one just because I'd been told by like people that had done the test in that place that that's the one they got Um, so it was a bit of a surprise to me that I was doing parallel parking but I just had to like calm myself down and say you can do it like I've practiced it I'm just gonna do it again like it's just normal <laughs> so then I arrived back to the test center and I pulled over and he was like uh, congratulations you passed and oh I was so happy I could not wipe that smile off my face Um, I got four minors Um, the first one was oh my gosh I'm gonna have to try and remember now oh okay so one of them was where the test center is it's quite like narrow roads there was turns that you had to do that were very narrow that I went in first gear and he said it wasn't always necessary but you could see why I did it so that was one of my minors. Another one was when I was doing my parallel parking manoeuvre um, apparently I was like looking round too much. You have to look in the back window to see where you're reversing but you also need to look around the whole of the car to check all the mirrors and he said that I was kind of checking the other mirrors more than I was looking behind so just to like do that a bit less. A third minor that I got was when we were on a dual carriageway I knew that at the end of the carriageway I'd be turning right so I like got in the right hand lane um, but he said that I could have done that a bit later like I did it too early. Uh, so that was the third minor and then I can't think of the fourth one. If I remember my fourth minor I'll put it in the description box. I can't think of it. Anyway in the in the like office where you have to like sign some paperwork and stuff he was like I gave you four minors it was a really good drive though and I was just like thanks I don't even care about my minors I can go and drive and pick up my friends it was just the best feeling ever. The weather was like sunny I, I just oh it was just the best day <laughs> I'm so happy thinking about it. So yeah uh, that was my driving test passing video and um, finally got to pass so there'll be no more of these test videos but I can't wait to make some more driving videos in the future like drive with me's and just all my other driving experiences uh, so yeah if you aren't already subbed 
hit that subscribe button down below so you can follow me with my driving life and all my other videos that I make. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little series, uh, don't forget there's more to come. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you're up to in the whole driving life line. <laughs> and I will see you with another video very soon. Bye!